and travel correspondent the independent simon kohler is to tell us uh, how bad it's going to be good morning to you simon uh good morning julia from uh, well what is normally Britain's busiest railway junction, but it's not very busy today. Of course, um, once again, I'm joining you from another station where there's another national rail strike halting services on most uh, lines in England, although actually there's probably more trains running today than there have been on any of the oh, that's previous interesting. You're 13 in, months. Just say you're in Clapham Junction in South London. It's a massively busy uh, uh, station. So there's an RMT strike today. There's an ASLEF strike I think, over the weekend. It's difficult for us to keep up with you know, what's, what's affected, but how much are trains affected today and where? OK, uh, so if you're in Scotland, if you're in Northern Ireland, if you're in Wales, lucky you. Not only are you in a beautiful country, you're also uh, getting a pretty normal train service. It's only English train operators, but of course some of those extend into Scotland and into uh, Wales. Um, it's a different picture depending on where you are. So here at London Waterloo, uh, at Clapham Junction, I caught a train from London Waterloo. Um, it was absolutely packed, um, but there are there is a sort of skeleton service running on the main commuter and intercity lines across the other side of the capital at uh, London King's Cross. Well, it's almost looking like a kind of semi-normal day with uh, regular services um, on the East Coast main line to York, to Newcastle, to Edinburgh. Um, elsewhere, well, do check before you travel. But, there, but this is the issue. This is the issue, Simon, on strike days now, because you, know, you think, like, with strike day, there aren't any trains, and there often are trains, and people make massively complicated and often very expensive alternative arrangements, and, and then they just go, oh, no, there were trains. And, you know, it, that's the thing, it's the not knowing, isn't it? And the, and the rail companies basically say, we don't know how many people are going to turn up, we don't know how many trains we're going to run, and it's the uncertainty that makes it so difficult for people. Uh, yes, although we're now so used to this that yeah. actually um, the train operators will put in um, their schedules typically two or three days ahead. Um, for instance, later on today I'm travelling to York. I've um, booked an advance ticket on LNER. One of the train operators hit by strikes. There's um, uh, plenty of um, services running. Um, but it is such a mixed picture. And yeah. what the train operators are really keen is that nobody starts a journey which they then can't finish that, yeah. because even where there are trains running, they will start to end round about 7 p.m. Yeah, today. you need to be, you need to, to get to your destination by then. Well, look, let's talk about the, the biggest further afield summer holiday getaway, even though apparently we're all too scared to go to Europe because, you know, it's hot in Southern Europe. Shocker. Used to be why we booked holidays in Southern Europe. A lot of people will be going away, families with kids at school, finally going to go away with the joy that we've had for so many years of paying extra because our kids are at school. Um, but this weekend is going to be crazy on the roads crazy on the railways that are running and absolutely mayhem at the airports, isn't it? OK, well, let's run through those. So on the roads, the big problems are really going to be tomorrow, particularly tomorrow afternoon. The RAC is warning especially of our old friend, the M25, between the A3 turn off for Portsmouth and the A22 the turn off for Eastbourne. That will sort of take in the whole of the Gatwick uh, area as well. And they're also saying the M5 southbound between Bristol and um, Bridgewater is also going to be extremely busy. And as, as you know, if it only takes a little bit of a breakdown for queues yeah. to build up elsewhere, um, the advice is um, do all your driving before 8 a.m. or after 7 p.m., which for a lot of families isn't particularly practical. Yeah, not with kids. Uh, yeah. uh, let's, let's look at the ferries. So it was. Um, the corresponding day last year, actually tomorrow, the Friday when many of the schools across England and Wales broke up, that we saw absolute mayhem at Dover uh, with um, queues last stretching for many, many hours, partly blamed on French frontier officials take, uh, arriving uh, late for their shifts. Dover has done an awful lot to uh, try to make sure that they're not going to have the same problems this year. But the chief executive is still saying if you're travelling through early morning on Saturday, you might be held up for two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's, you know, if, if you're prepared for it, if you've got all the stuff in the car, if you've got things to keep the kids entertained, that's actually not too bad compared with what's happening at the airports. Relatively calm today, Julia, I'm glad well, to say. Well, today, uh, yeah, but that's because it's Thursday. I mean, lots of the schools are breaking up today, tomorrow. 
Oh, oh, sure, yeah, and it remains to be seen what happens. There's no actual strikes this week to fret about. Um, you have seen this picture of uh, delays building up during the day. Certainly at Heathrow at Gatwick last night, there were lots of um, late departures and arrivals. Um, but the strikes, which have been called at Gatwick, hope you're keeping up, 28th of July onwards with ground handlers. Um, three of those companies, there's still members of the Unite Union still um, threatening to walk out. Talks are continuing. So and the dispute with EasyJet, Britain's busiest, biggest um, uh, budget airline, that has been um, suspended, the strike oh, okay. action, while members vote on a, an improved payoff. Uh, amazingly, some good news, which is very unusual coming out of Clapham Junction with Simon Calder. Thank you very much indeed for that, Simon.